Hola people, I welcome you all to my channel Life Science Tastic. In today's video, I'll be introducing you all to the options you can opt for after your graduation, that is after your BSc in any life science subject. Now to those who are new to this channel, I request you all to please watch my introduction video so that you can actually get an idea about this channel. Now what are we waiting for? Let's get started. To all BSc students out there, you can actually opt for MSc or you can opt for MBA. Let's begin with MSc. If I quickly introduce you all to MSc, then that's Masters of Science degree, which will allow you to explore more in subjects like ecology, genetics and molecular biology, then microbiology, then um, virology, plant developmental biology, etc. If we move on to the duration of this course, then MSc is a two-year post-graduation course available in maximum colleges and universities of India. The next point which I can share with you all is the fees of the course. <laughs> so the fees range is from 30,000 per annum to 1.5 plus lakhs per annum. It actually depends totally on the college you select and the core subject you have chosen for your master's. <laughs> So the last point which I want to share with you all is the admission process to this course. MSc degree or MSc program admissions begins immediately after the declaration of BSc results. So the uh, universities or the colleges, basically they conduct entrance exams for the admissions to MSc degree in any life science uh, subject or discipline. For example, if you want to enter into IIT, there's an entrance called IIT JAM, which you have to qualify after your BSc. Then only you'll get an admission into IIT under MSc uh, Life Science program. But there are some other colleges also who actually take direct admissions or there is a merit-based admissions available in some different colleges. Uh, now I feel I've answered maximum questions what BSc students have in their mind. But I did not answer the major question yet and that's what subject to go with after your graduation. <laughs> So the answer is very, very simple, guys. You can actually opt for the same subject you have actually selected in your graduation or your BSc. For example, if you have done your BSc in botany, you can go with botany in your master's too. If you have selected biotechnology in your BSc, then you can go with biotechnology in your master's too. This you have to do if you want to explore more in that particular subject itself. And if you want a proper list of what subjects are included under life science, then I have already mentioned that in my previous video, so you can go and have a look at it. But hey, if you guys ask me about what subject to choose for the masters, then I would clearly say, please rewind your three years of your BSc and then Think properly, think wisely. What subject were, did you like or what subject were you interested in? Like. While doing my BSc in biotechnology, I got interest in genetics. So I did my master's in medical genetics. Similarly, you have to find what subject you really like and then go for it. According to me and as per the high demand, maximum students do their graduation in biotechnology or microbiology or life science. So for them, if they want to select a good subject and for their master's, then the options would be... MSc in Molecular Biology, MSc in Embryology, MSc in Genetics, MSc in Biotechnology, MSc in Bioinformatics, MSc in Microbiology, and MSc in Virology. Out of these subjects, you can opt for any subject for your master's if you have a graduation degree in life science or biotechnology or molecular field because those fields are the wider ones as i said those are the broad range ones so you can actually narrow down your uh, range in your master's that is you'll get a specialization degree which will help you to understand the subject more and more in depth i hope you have understood what i want to say <laughs> Now let's move on to the second option we have after our BSc, that is MBA, MBA in Pharma Biotechnology. 
If I quickly introduce you all to MBA, then that's a Master's of Business Administration degree, which will allow you to learn both business and biotechnology. The syllabus is designed in such a way that it provides a better understanding of the economics driving this emerging technology. If you ask me about the duration of this course, then MBA is a two-year post-graduation course which you can opt for after your BSc or Bachelor's in Biotechnology or Life Sciences. Overall, I would say a graduation degree in bi Biomedical Sciences. So the next point which I would like to mention is the fees of this course. So the fees range is from 40,000 per annum to 4.5 lakhs per annum. So it depends on the college and the university you are opting for. So the last point which we can actually talk about in this option is the admission process. And I would like to mention that the admissions to any college or university is only and only via entrance exams. So you have to qualify the entrance exams to get the admission into that particular university. The entrance exams like SCAT, CMAT, MAT, etc. So basically the universities conduct these exams and you have to qualify them and get into the merit list and then only you'll get the admissions to MBA in Pharma Biotechnology. I just hope this short introduction video will help you to choose the best option for your masters. All the very best to you all. And I guess that's it for today, guys. Uh, in my next video, I'll be sharing a detailed information about MSc and MBA. So in detail, I mean, I'll be sharing the colleges offering this course, the celebs involved in these two courses, and the future aspect, the jobs, everything. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye, guys. Toodles.